Well, I'll tell you what you got here. Yeah. You got yourself a girlfriend. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, are you sure? A girlfriend? I'm looking at a guy in a semi-daily with tampons in his house and an implied date on Saturday night. I would like to help you out, but... Do you believe my luck? The first time in my life I have a good answer to the question, what do you do, and I have a girlfriend. I mean, you don't need a girlfriend when you can answer that question. That's what you say in order to get girlfriends. Once you can get girlfriends, you don't want a girlfriend, you just want more girlfriends. You're gonna make a very good father someday. Well, it's not fair, Jerry, it's just not fair. Uh, uh, that's it, I I'm getting out of this thing. Fine, break up with her, but you know what this means, don't you? No, what? The script, the pilot, the TV show, that's all over. Why? What do you mean? Figure it out. She's one of the executives at NBC that's gonna make the decision whether or not they pick up the show. She's one of our biggest fans. You drop her off, you think they're gonna pick us up? All right. Um, no, man. You know, it's a very interesting situation. Here you have a job that can help you get girls, but you also have a relationship. But if you try and get rid of the relationship so you can get the girls, you lose the job. You see the irony? Yeah, yeah, I see the irony. Yeah, look, we only got about two hours. We just need to come up with one good story idea. We can get through this meeting. Here's your food. Hey, what about this? I'm in a car accident. The motorist is uninsured. You with me? Yeah. My car's totaled. It's all his fault. Now, he has absolutely no money. There is no way that he could pay me. So the judge decrees that he becomes my butler. Your butler? Right. He cooks my food, he cleans my house, he does all my shopping for me, and there you go. That's your program. What about me? Don't worry, we find something for you. That's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Have you ever been to a Chinese restaurant and they tell you to be like five minutes for a table and you wind up waiting there for like 30 minutes? Well, we thought it would be very funny to do an entire show where all you're doing is waiting for the table. <laughs> because we've all been in that situation. So that's the idea? Well, no, that's one. Uh, we have many others. We have an idea where um, uh, uh, I, um, I get into an accident with a guy who has no insurance and the judge sentences him to be my butler. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and he, uh, and he cooks, so he has to cook for me, and then he's cleaning up my house, and uh, he's doing my shop, and, you know. And I'm, and I'm walking around with one of those big neck collars. You know, <laughs> you just see somebody in one of those collars, you start laughing immediately. <laughs> you tell them about the butler story? Oh, is that beautiful or what? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, Russell? <laughs> I'm Rita Kirsten. Uh, Rita. Hey, Mr. Shermack, how are you? Good to see you, Steve J. Always a pleasure. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, that butler idea, that's beautiful, isn't it? Is that a killer? <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought I was getting the butler. Don't worry, we'll find something for you. <laughs> what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I'm fired. Yes. Fired? Why? Because you kissed me. You kissed me, you stupid idiot. Rita called Russell and he fired me over the phone. What is pie? Ooh. Giddy up again? I'm killing him. But I didn't, I, I had no idea, I didn't realize. You didn't realize? How could you not realize? You're stupid. You are a stupid, stupid man. I, I just feel terrible. This is just terrible. What is it, cha-cha? <laughs> yes, indeed. I'll speak to you later. This is great! He's fired! This is incredible! He fired her! I'm out, baby! I'm out! Why'd he fire her? Because I kissed her in the meeting! Russell found out! He fired her over the phone! Finally, my stupidity pays off! What do I do? Well, actually, I'm a writer. In fact, I'm uh, writing a comedy pilot for NBC right now. A sitcom? How can you write that crap? Carol! This guy's writing a sitcom! A sitcom? <laughs> 